Okay, so no filter. Digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon from this area we call a big rock in the woods. <laughs> it's not even a boulder. <coughs> it's a cut stone. It was cut in a few different ways. You can see the drill marks. It's actually a lot of fun to do stones that you can see were cut by humans. I'll show you why. It's got to take a leak first, though, I think, while you're looking at this. I'm going to come over here because there's another one right next to it. So I want to go in on this one as well. I can see it all. I can see it, no problem. No filter on the camera, unnecessary. The drill mark that I'm talking about that I'm going to bring you in on is right here. See right there, the drill, the drill mark and where it was split and everything. I'm sure there's other ones on there too. I'm going to leave it focused right here for a minute though. While I try to find a private spot here. Okay, I used to do this a lot when I first found the EMNC. I did it on different camping trips that I went to and stuff. Um, because that, to me, it's, it's incredible shit and it's, it's good evidence for us, you know? All right, so right here where we see this drill mark, at the campsite that I did, what I did is I found both sides of a stone that were split. And then I'd have this side of a drill mark and the other part of the stone with the drill mark. Here I only have one. Maybe if I look around a little, I'll find the other half. Maybe it ends up being this half. I don't know. But if you look at that break right there, it might match with another break. I'd have to look around a little bit. But anyways, here's the important thing. Okay, where the drill bit came through. Extract the imagery from it. So I'm going to run up it. That's the drill mark right there. I'm, I'm, I'm purposely aiming my camera to get the best lights and shadows that I can. I have no filter on there. I see it all, so I'm just going to come up slow. It's fucking beauteous. Beautiful, just as usual. It's always like this. Now, this stone's been here for a long time. So, build up on it. Uh, things that have uh, fallen on it. Mold, uh, funguses, all that. You see it all? Same thing. It's going to show the imagery and the fungus. Because it's in the true creator system. Everything in this fucking system is going to show you feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. It's one of the reasons why I said that's that's good evidence for us. Also, up, down, left, right, backward, forward, in and out. Don't you know the true creator does not appreciate or see or care about our up, down, left, right, backward. Forward. Okay, so knowing those things and seeing them, let me go back into the drill mark and seeing them. I'm going in a different direction now. Hopefully, my camera's gonna be locked in properly oh yeah awesome 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 I see it all hopefully you all do too okay now I can do that on the rest of the rock of course and extract the imagery I'll come right above I'll, I'll get away from the drill mark for a minute I'm coming ab above it looks like there was a break here but that's okay okay now I'm extracting oh, oh my god it's fucking good it's really good. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You can see it all. And you can do this with any boulder, any rock, any stone, any fucking thing you want. Wow, this is really good. I love doing this. Uh, if I had a filter on, it'd blow your fucking mind. Anybody that was actually really looking at what it is I'm showing you. Because it's really good. 
The imagery is nice, perfect. No, no sun. Lights and shadows are shitty today. It doesn't matter. Okay, so back to this. Back to this point of this. Okay, so both sides of the stone, right? The drill mark. If this side of the stone showing me the imagery, feline canine road, nape human and beast, shows me the true creator's work. If, if this side of the stone showing me that, and the other side of the stone is showing me that, which it always does, that's how I can tell you that the true creator does not care about in, out, right? Because if the inside is the same as the outside, and that's also how I can tell you that the true creator sees everything as one. That's your evidence that true, the true creator sees everything as one. Because he builds feline, canine, ro rodent, ape, human, and beast in the fungus, right? The same way that he does the rock and the stone. The same way that he does the fucking clouds. The same way that he does the grass, the trees, the snow, the every fucking thing in here. And last time I did my human skin, the camera was all fogged up. So I'll do my skin. I see it. I see it. Do the palm of my hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I always love doing it. Because even as we're being built, as we live our lives, we're constantly being built in this realm. Everything in here is. So you can give the credit for building this bicycle. <laughs> My fucking badass bike. You can give the credit to building this bike, bicycles to humans, but the true creator's work is all over in this bicycle, in the metal and everything. Even no matter how much we try to take the true creator's work out of the everything that we do, it's impossible to do. Um, you still should be able to see through the lies and see the true creator's work. The only reason we don't is due to the programming. I'll walk down here and I'll do the. I'll grab the water while I'm here. Um, it's only due to the to the programming, and that, and that programming we receive is human programming. It, it's uh, it's false. It's shit. Uh, yes, we can live by it, but it's not good for the majority of the people, the majority of the humans on this earth. It sucks for, and the other animals for that matter, too. Because if we're not even going to recognize it and understand that the true creator... Let's go with the false creator slash creator first. If we don't have an understanding for the false creator slash creator, and have an understanding that his build was based on... The true creator's work which is feline canine rodent ape human and beast and where the fuck did all the other species come from they came from humans dividing atom that's an important thing to understand especially when it comes to all the other creatures not just for the fact of e empathy and sympathy for us eating other creatures including plants not just animals but plants as well these plants are living creatures as well right so if we're going to talk about living creatures created by the false creator but once you understand that wait a minute there's no trees there are no bushes in the false creator's work or the true creator's work for that matter there are no trees bushes there there are a lot of species there are no lobsters right there are no dolphins um there are no ocean creatures sea creatures there are no birds so where the fuck are all these now the only place i've seen birds were under false pretenses uh, in other words, from a fake ass satellite footage that I had one time done. I, I can do it again, but you know, that's it's below my fucking pay grade at this point. I mean, to go back to those videos, they were on the, um, they were satellite footage old stuff from the probably 90s, I'd say, from the 80s and 90s. There was satellite footage on Sherlock Holmes. Uh, book reading thing, you know, they they read the books out loud and stuff, and it was sure. I just happened to catch it one day, and I started seeing the imagery, so I went in and made videos of it. And when I did, I realized, wow, there's a lot of birds in here. For you know, for me, I never see birds. There are never birds anywhere, and there were a lot of birds that, and and they were almost like they were unmistakable to me. It seemed so. I I was. The video I was doing was proving that satellites are fake as shit and pointing out how fake it all is and how stupid and how, and how ingenious, I mean, we all are for believing in such nonsense. <laughs> That's what the video was about. Um, but I just pointing out that 
you know, the only time I ever seen a lot of birds. And I had other times where I tried to confirm birds, but I was never able to, that kind of thing. So when we go from the rocks to the water, and we see feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast again, even in the water. That's why I'm telling you the true creator sees everything as one. And that's your evidence yourselves for anybody that's coming to my videos. That's your evidence that the true creator sees everything as one. He doesn't treat the water different than the rock. He doesn't treat the rock different than the human. He doesn't treat the human different from the fucking chicken, for that matter. Let's throw in things that... Uh, the true creator has never even touched, right? So, in other words, we can touch his fucking chicken, uh, and, but yet we don't see chickens in the true creator's build, right? So, anything that the, the builders build are missing a lot of species that we can touch and feel and eat, for that matter. We eat a lot of them. Uh, horses, for example, we all, you know, I've been looking for five years now, maybe longer, since I found the, since I found the system, it's been about five years now, and in the beginning, there was that dude that brought us the, uh, or actually she turned out to be a girl, I didn't know that at the time, though, but she brought us the heart of stone, and the heart of stone had that, looked like a possible horse, uh, <coughs> body imagery also of the horse, never get that anywhere else um <coughs> i myself have to question it because even if a human was to break that unless they were specifically and purposely carving out a image of a horse into the stone and there's no evidence of that i'm not claiming there is but it, that would be the only way i could see getting a horse into the imagery and then looking into that horse i should be able to see a lot of other feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, beast, because it's always image within image within image. So, it could have taken a little bit further on the investigation of that horse, but I didn't want to make too much of a big deal out of one rock. But there could have been something to that. There could have been something real to that, for that matter. But because at the time, just like now, when you're being followed and instigated and harassed and shit, you know, you, you have to do what you have to do, you know what I mean? So, at that time that was also happening by different agents a different group of agents than right now i'm keeping an eye on both sides of the bridge and waiting for the uh little white car to drive by or that gray that dark gray suv um so digital collection of the emnc from the river runoff again like i did the other day you can see all the faces in there feline canine rodent ape human and beast Pause the video, take your camera out of your pocket, use it as a viewing device, and look in at the images. Pause it, look, play it, pause it, look, play it, pause it, look, and start to get used to it. All directions, all the time, everywhere in here. fucking awesome man it's amazing that it gets easier and easier let's let me, let me tell you that too it gets easier and easier to the point where a flowing river i am able to follow images through I, I, I my eyes grab image down here and i pull it all the way through until i lose it and i keep putting i pull it through it's pretty incredible i was not able to do that at the beginning of the finding all this i wasn't i wouldn't have been able to do that i had to pause the video just like i'm explaining to you to do which is still better in any way because then I can take out millions. I don't have to concentrate on one and follow it through. But now that I know what I'm looking for and what I'm looking at, it is easy for me to do that. I can keep doing that and I can follow images through that way. Um, but it's nowhere nearly as fun as pausing the video and then taking your camera around and looking at all the images that are in here, you know, rather than just following one at a time. It's fucking amazing. It really is. So, uh, I could, since I'm here too, let's see. Yeah, I guess I could. So, again, another stone, another rock. I'm just going to zoom in as much as I can so I can't get down there. I see it. I see it all, no problem. 
Okay, and the reason why I like this too, because see the drill marks? See the drill marks down here? So again, drilled here, split, and right here is a, a split. This is a, done by a human. So this is actually, this end that I'm looking into was at one time center. And now that it's been split, we have perfect view of the end of it, right? Now that would be the center. And because the imagery is all the same, feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast, that can confirm for me that even inside rocks, even inside boulders, the true creator's work is there, right? Think about it. Just think about it. If the true creator's work is inside the fucking rock and in the middle of the stone and that keeps happening over and over and over again, it can be confirmed, which it can. It doesn't have to be confirmed by me. It can be confirmed by you. No matter who you are, you don't have to fucking be a, a reporter. You don't have to be a president. You don't have to be anybody special that we consider special anyway in this society. You could just be a, any human being. You might be, your heart might be being tugged on. You might be being called on. And, and just understand, you know, this is what's, this is the true way that things are. This is the reality of it. You don't have to go along with the fucking lies anymore. I'll just say real quick before this video ends that, you know, let me go aim this down here. Yeah, I'll do that, and we'll grab the imagery that way, too. Okay. Because I don't have to hold the camera when I'm doing this this way. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to try to do that on this side, too. Perfect. Perfect. So, um, so I want to get started on the next series. I want to get going on the next series that I'm going to do. I'm going to probably stay on the Miguel Everyone channel because I don't know what day they're going to take me out. They've been fucking with me for months. Um, years actually, but the last few months really bad. So who knows what the fuck they're up to now. So they left me alone with no more 24 hour surveillance on foot. Cause that, like I said, that was more or less intimidation and uh, scare tactics as far as I'm concerned. But uh, to go from all that money and all those guys and gals, uh, there was a lot, there were a lot of people they had on me. When I was telling you guys tens of thousands of dollars were being spent on following me around, it's not an exaggeration at all. Um, I would say tens of thousands of dollars over the years, and then all of a sudden, over the last few months, again, tens of thousands of dollars more were spent all of a sudden just to do 24-hour foot patrol of, of my every fucking move. It was unbelievable. And not just me, but family as well. So what they've seen to drop back down to now, and I'm assuming it's because they got all the cameras in place now. So they, if they got the cameras rolling everywhere that I'm going, which they obviously do, and they have tracking on my phones, the vehicles I'm in, and all this other shit, and family members, cars. All right, so if they got all that, which they do, then they really never had to track me like that. They didn't, they, that was just intimidation. They could have just done what they're doing right now. Yes, I know they're there. Yes, I know they're watching me, but they're not up my fucking ass every minute of every day, and they're not following my family around the way they were before either, you know? Uh, and my family, they're all such fucking zombies. They don't know, man, any fucking thing that's going on, they have no idea. If I tell them... Um, like my, they were calling my family. Whoever these investigators were, they were not even leaving their names or nothing with my family. That's how fucking ingenious my family is. 
if someone called me and said, yeah, uh, we're looking for you, anybody, <laughs> anybody, I would say, first of all, who the fuck are you? Second of all, I don't give information over the phone about family and friends, you know? But these people, my family and friends, are such geniuses that they automatically, you know, jump on the side of whoever it is that's fucking with you, you know? Uh, that's, that's not a good idea to do. I mean, uh, you know, in other words, they feel like they're on the defensive. They're, they get very defensive. Oh, what did he do? What did he do? Did he do something wrong? Well, yeah, we can't tell you what he did wrong, but he, uh, we definitely um, want to uh, talk to him. He's got to come out to Connecticut and blah, 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 whatever the hell he told my aunt. And she's worried about it. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck are you worried about? I mean, it, this is, has nothing to do with whatever it is they're claiming. That's a bullshit story. They're after me, and here here's, comes the ingenious part again. They're after me because of my YouTube channels. Because I'm exposing the entire fucking system that none of you listen to me. None of you have listened to me for fucking 10, 12 years, whatever it's been now, that I've been trying to awaken family and friends. In the last six years, I have all the evidence, all the evidence. I'm showing it to you right now in the goddamn camera. And it's fucking, I'm showing it to all my family and friends first. That was where I first set up was on Facebook when I actually found the true system. But I've been calling out the liars for 12 years at least. No fucking way they want to admit to any of those lies. That's why when I was on Facebook, I got disowned by most of my family and friends. Because that's when I first started waking up to all the lies. And I'm saying, you know, this is weird. Why are we, it seems like we're lied to about a lot of shit in our lives. It <coughs> seems like everything. <coughs> And just when you think that it's impossible, it can't possibly be everything. You know, you just mean, you know, we're lied to about some things. And uh, and we got to figure things out for ourselves. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying absolutely every fucking thing we're ever told, heard, thought, taught, bought, has all been programmed and uh, it's been a lie. And that makes it hard for everybody to get their heads around. They can believe, oh yeah, Biden lied to us about his Corvette. Okay, that, that they can believe. But to believe that we're not on a fucking spinning wet pair rocket ball, spinning at 1,100 miles an hour, flying 10,000 miles an hour through the vast of what they tell you is outer space, that's too much. They just can't handle it. Or you tell them, um, hey, all that religious shit that you call politics, it's all just different religions that were brought down from the last couple thousand years. It's a matter of control. Your propaganda that you use in the capitalist system is no different than the communist system. It's just that you have to believe the lies. You're still forced to believe the lies. So you all you zombies that are in America, the United States, United Kingdom, places where you think you're free, Canada, you think you're free, not fucking free, never were. I went through all that under the Candace Owens series. There's no fucking freedom. Because if Jordan Peterson was to come out and Candace Owens was to come out tomorrow and start showing people what I'm showing you, they'd be done. They'd be done. They would never get through to anybody anymore. You would never hear their names anymore. And they know that. They have to go along with the fucking lies that, oh, yeah, space aliens in outer space. And I'm going to show a picture of a globe behind me every time I'm fucking doing a video so that we all get it through our heads that we're living on this globe, which is an imaginary fucking system. It's a human made up by humans. It's false. It never was true. And they have too hard of a time believing it. Are you telling me that Elon Musk is faking his fucking space? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. I'm telling you, they're all lying motherfuckers. They all working together, and they're working against you. So don't keep getting mad at me. Don't call me the fucking scumbag because I'm fucking showing you the real true system. Now, I can go and argue and debate about all these lies because they're easy to prove the false. They're very easy to prove false. But why? why? Well, that ain't going to get me anywhere. That's a distraction from what I'm trying to show you. So what I choose to do is come out everyday life, just in your everyday life, you can go take your fucking stupid cell phone and use it for something practical rather than use it to further all your lies. That's all. So you can go out to any stream, river, or lake and do exactly what I'm doing here. Post the videos, remaster them, start getting your head around what I'm showing you. Nope. 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 Not going to do that. Nobody's going to fucking do that. 
So what you want? Oh, they want to bicker and argue about. Oh, yeah, it could be anything. It could. They could take what I'm showing you now and turn it into a psychological uh, debate. Right? It's a psychological debate. That's why I said under the Jordan Peterson uh, series about um, the ink blots that therapists use. Right? And psychotherapy and uh, all that shit. It's all bullshit. It's all, all bullshit. It's all fucking lies. You should be able to see the feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast on a fucking ink bladder. You can. You can and you should. And anything else that you're seeing and using your imagination to see, I recommend you stop using your imagination to see it. Don't bother. First of all, it's just your imagination. You can't really pick out details of the horse. So if you see the horse and your imagination is run to the horse, concentrate on that horse. Circle it on the ink blotter, right? And the ink blotter. Or the dragon or whatever it is you think you see. Using your, when the, when the doctor tells you that, says, look at this ink blotter and tell me what you see. Unless it is, has to do with feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast, and you see anything other than that, question it. Look at it hard. Question it. And then look for the evidence of it. Gee, if, if I see a horse, is it a full horse body? That's my first question. Second, okay, if it's a full horse body, do I have chest, hooves? Do I have the legs are right place? The knees are in the right place? The tail is correct? The ass, the shape of it, is it all correct? Or is it just kind of look like a horse's nose and everything else is way off? And the, and the body looks like a dog and this, you know, because then you're just using your fucking imagination, right? So you can circulate, concentrate on it, just like you could do with any of the images that I'm showing you right now that are the true creator's work. It's not my work. I just got the stupid fucking camera aimed at the water. That's all I'm doing. And I'm seeing it all, so I'm sharing it with you that you can see it as well. So, but as far as pushing the water down this fucking uh, area here, don't give that credit to gravity. Give that credit to the fucking true creator and the true creator's work. It's an electromagnetic nanocarbon system. The gravity that you're, you're bragging about pushing this water down this uh, hill here, that, that's not, credit should not go to gravity. Gravity is an effective electromagnetic current. Just like the fucking winds that blow down these fucking trees, right? So we can pull the imagery from these trees. I can keep the camera right here. I will for a minute or two. And I'll just keep the camera here. Image within image within image within image from the veil to the ground. So think about all the air and the space that's in between all of these branches. And when I go put a red filter on here, I, I'll be able to pull these images out for you. Right now, I see them all. I see them clearly. And you have to think about the lights and the shadows as they're doing it. I'm looking at them right now. It's unbelievable. It's unfucking believable So you think about the texture. I'm talking about my first... Uh, trees i'm trying to get my finger these bushes here these branches i'm so, i'm sorry these branches right here are coming off the side tree right here and they're about five six feet away from me right then you come up to these ones up here they're about seven eight feet away these are about 10 feet to 15 feet away then you go way to fuck in the background because in between here all this air in the space which you think is nothing because you've been convinced of zero. You think of zero as some, as something when really there's no such thing as zero. It's a human concept. It's false. It's made up. So when you look in between all these branches, you see zero. You could say it's air. Air particles. Uh, air. Yeah, it's just air. So when the wind comes through and blows these fucking branches, you again give the credit of wind and air to falsities it's not true it, it's just not fucking true we can see it all so get that comprehend that for a second right it's kind of like i was telling you about the water the other day seeing things in layers so when you see the top of the water moving like it is and you're not able to see to the bottom of the water the rocks the stones the dirt at the bottom of the water then of course you're extracting from the top of the water but there are layers to be dealt with when the water is calm just like when the trees are calm right here so if I'm looking in at the trees and I'm digitally collecting the MNC, think about this. Right here where we're looking, I'd say about 200 feet away, maybe? Yeah, I'd say so. So way back there where you can barely see in the camera, the, the hill goes up here, and that, that hill goes up to these top trees way up here. But that's about, you know, 150 feet away, I'd say. Yeah, about that. So about 150 feet away from where I am right now. And... Could also bring the camera back in and do it this way too. 
right about there I'm happy with. So I can extract all the images from this area. It's fucking cool as shit, man. Okay, so, you know, back here is all leaves and all this kind of shit, branches and everything like that. So when you start collecting the image from in between all these branches like this, and you think about all the space that's in between these branches, you'll no longer think of in between the branches as nothing. You will now see them as something. Because they are there is something there. Not just air, but it's the true creator's... That's how you know the true creator's building everything. And you can see the triangular shapes that are building it all. Look at all the fucking triangular shapes that are in there right now. That are in that area. Those are the builders. So don't, don't think of them as invisible. Don't think of them as not being there or zero. Because that's not what it is. You can clearly see them. You can clearly see the triangular shapes all in there. Right in where this camera is. By the bazillions. So if you look at the images that the true creators builders built for us all over in the same video. Take your camera out. Like I always tell you. Aim it at the fucking screen. Pause the camera. I mean pause the uh, video. In case I move the camera or something. And just look around in there. And pull out the images one at a time in every direction. And you'll see. And then think about it. Think about it. Gotta stop believing these fucking liars. I don't know what I'm at for minutes. Did I pass my time? I don't know. 32 minutes. Right, I'll go back to the water for a couple minutes. Yeah, it's funny too because I remember when I first found it, found the system, you know, for the first year or two as I was finding it and one thing after another, you know, the water, the trees, the rocks, the, you know, and I'm finding it ever, the clouds, the moon, I mean, fuck man, they, you want to pull the moon in from 250,000 miles away and get it right up to your fucking face, go look at the system. Go look at the true creator's work. You will never believe in outer space nonsense bullshit again. If you go and look at the moon, and I show you the moon in my videos a lot, they don't never get any views. Nobody ever goes and looks. I'm telling you. And I do 360s on my camera when I'm doing videos of the moon because I'm purposely doing that so I can show you the true creator's work. Because once you get through your head, wait a minute. So the moon is also feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. The true creator's work is being shown in the moon as well. Not only that, but the moon is where the false creator comes in, and that was the beginning, beginning of the vision. That was the beginning of the false creator slash creator's work. How do we know that? Body imagery. Body imagery. Feline, canine, rodent, ape, human, and beast. When body imagery comes in, then you're able to divide men from women. You're able to separate them. When it's faces only, like it is down here, everywhere down here. Like I said, I've seen body images down here but not enough to declare male or female. So even if you see arms, things like that, uh, an ape, a gorilla, all right? I saw that ape under the Candace Owens series. We got that uh, ape body um, that was in some uh, hurricane or tornado or some kind of shit like that. I don't remember what, but you know, when you see, oh no, it was in, uh, it was clouds. It was at the cloud level. But uh, that was actually that, body imagery was under the Jordan Peterson series actually and that ape body was sitting down and I don't know if it was a male or female ape I, I couldn't tell you know um, by the chest and stuff like that but there was a lot of imagery there was a lot of body imagery there um, it's very rare to catch body imagery down here matter of fact looking back in the videos I, I I do, you know, when I'm watching my videos back, I do keep an eye out for that stuff still, you, you know, because I'm always trying to confirm it. <coughs> and I did see quite a few under the Jordan Peterson videos when I was watching the videos back. I seen a lot of possible body images and I never went back for them. Uh, I was getting pissed, like, as I usually do. By the time I get to the end of a series, I'm usually getting very aggravated with whoever it is I'm making the series to because everybody's such fucking liars. 
And I don't know if they're purposeful liars or not. So when I see someone like Jordan Peterson telling you about uh, evolution and science and all this shit, right? Because he has to. That's part of his thing. But I want to know. I want to know. Are these people telling us this because they, they know the truth, the reality that I'm showing you, and they're really purposely trying to deceive everyone? Or are they just a product of their environment and they strongly believe in what they were taught in their schooling and education? Is that I always want to know. It's very important. And it should be important to all of us. That's why when I get somebody that I know is a fucking knowing liar, like Elon Musk, how could he not be a liar? He's telling people that he's sending things into outer space, which we know is a fucking joke. It should be laughed at and ridiculed and say, you fucking zombies, man. I mean, why are you looking at all that and even wasting your time and energy and money on it, for, for that matter? Um, when you, We can all see that it's a lie. Uh, but no, everybody goes along with it. You know, We, we took it over from uh, you know, NASA. We believe everything NASA tells us, our government tells us. Same thing, give billions of dollars, hundreds of trillions of hours of energy poured into watching their movies and listening to their bullshit related to outer space. Yeah, it's really too bad. It's really too bad. Um, but we should not continue this. We should, we should all stop, put a stop to it right, right now. Everybody, just the average Joes, doesn't have to be... Uh, you know, from the top down, because anybody at the top is not going to allow you, uh, us at the bottom, to see it all anyway. They want us to be good slaves. Our uh, our ancestors sold us out, and we here we are still going to continue to the sellout. You know, and we're going to sell our children out. And I'm, I'm watching it fucking happen right in front of my face every day. I got kids, and I'm watching my girlfriend and my kids, and I'm watching. You know, my family and friends and everybody, they're all selling their families out, and they refuse to look. Uh, you know, there's no harm in what I'm showing you. Uh, anybody could be out in my yard or out in when I go to uh, family, you know, picnics or, you know, any family function or parties or anything, which I rarely do nowadays. But when I did used to do that, you know, there was no reason why they uh, could not just go look. But it, they can't. They cannot look. I remember showing uh, at different parties and stuff. I'd, I'd show up and I'd be talking about moon cycles. And I'd be like, look, the moon cycle doesn't work. Because look where the sun is now. And look where the moon is a full moon. So how does that work when the sun is on the... Oh, that's a refraction from the uh, solar system. And it's fucking refracting down from our... Uh, <laughs> I'm misquoting them. What they say, it's, it's a refraction from our atmosphere. That's atmospheric refraction happening from the sun. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, you know? I mean, the light from the moon is lighting up the earth that we're walking on in our night sky. And it's casting a light down. And you're telling me that the sun, the sun's light on the other side of the earth, which cannot even get direct sunlight to the moon because it's on the other side of the earth, supposedly... So, in other words, totally opposite side, right? So when you look at these moons, when they come up that way, so the moon will be in your 12 o'clock position. It's 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night in the summertime. So you know the sun's already been down past the earth for several hours, right? And then, but you still got a cast of light coming from the moon. It's a full moon. And you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't make any fucking sense. If anything... Only the top of the moon should be lit according to your, you know, ball theory, you know. And then another one that works like that too is when the top of the moon is lit only and the sun is out in the same sky. So if the sun is out in the same sky and the sun and the moon are looking directly at each other and we're right in the middle of the two of them looking at each other, then what we see of the moon should be a full moon. We should see the full fucking moon. And not only that, is there's all these other things too where they tell you that the moon is turning. The moon only turns in a clockwise rotation around us. That's a given. You can see it. When you know the imagery in the moon and you're catching the moon a couple times a month, you fucking see it. You can see it's clear as day. 
You just line up the images. You, you get to know the images that make up the moon and you're never seeing any other images being added. In other words, if I started seeing the back side of the moon at any time, or the side of the moon, or a little corner of the moon, or a little edge of the back of the moon, it doesn't even have to be the whole thing. The images all around the edges are always the same. So, so that's a lot, so they lied about that as well. So all these lies are provable, but yet no one goes and looks. I'm not gonna see fucking uh, Jordan Peterson go and look at any of this shit because he's best buddies with Joe Rogan and Elon Musk and, you know, they're all in on it together, you know? I mean, Joe Rogan, he seems like a nice guy and everything like that, but he has to know everything that I'm fucking telling you and possibly more because think about all the shit that people that he calls out himself, all the people that he calls on the show and he uh Ask some straightforward questions, you know, to, that people want to know the answers to. And he's supposedly getting straight up answers. So you think about that. So if that's the case, then why is he so on board with all the space alien nonsense? All the outer space jargon, bullshit stories that are provably false. Why is he so on board with that? But yet he's not on board with a million other things that he wants to call people out on that he can... Um, I don't know, he's not even able to really prove that they're false because he won't go look at the real system. So you're just taking people's words on shit, really. You're not looking for yourself. So, yeah, I don't, I don't trust him at all. He's been busted out too many times. So, you know, all these other people that I've been trying to call out, they're all also, as I go along, I keep figuring out and finding out, oh, my God, man, they're all fucking buddies, man. What about, uh, what about that dude, uh, what's his name? I always forget it. Katy Perry's ex, ex-husband ex there. Brandon something. Same thing. Seems like a nice guy. Seems like he's trying to show people truth and honesty and stuff like that. But, and he makes a lot of sense. And, I, you know, I want to like him. But he goes along with a lot of fucking liars. So what, you're going to believe in some lies but not the others? So, so you believe in a bunch of fucking liars that are pushing outer space and uh, politics and uh, globalism and all these other shit. Globalism, right? Think about, think about the terminologies they're all using. Global warming. For, everybody thinks that the problem with the term global warming is the part of warming. No, that's not the problem. The problem is the word global. That's the fucking bigger lie. The fact that it's warming is not even a lie. The fact that it's warm because it gets warmer, it gets colder. As a matter of fact, the lie is, as far as warming goes, is that it's all controlled by humans. So humans are controlling what they call Mother Nature, but yet nobody wants to go look at it. It's all right above our heads. They drop the fucking trails on our heads every fucking day, all the time. Nobody goes and looks. They Nope. No fucking way. All I see is planes in the sky, my friend. I don't know. I'll be back.